Welcome to Fargo Village here in Coventry, where Continuous Car Conversations Part 1 um, is about to happen. And we have a very orange, if not a little bit mucky, Keir Stinger, driven here by petrol ped all the way from the south. There's uh, bravely come to Coventry. Welcome, mate. It's still got the wheels on it. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> we could have got could have got a tenner outside. We were offered. <laughs> but yes, we are going to do the drawings live once again with a bit of a twist, with lots of equipment, a car, and my car. And previously, we did this via Instagram Live. We're doing that again, yeah. but in the same room, because can. Because COVID's not around anymore. Is that, well, apparently. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start the live right away, and then we're going to have a chat and catch up about what's gone on the last three years Yeah. since, since all that stuff. Yeah. And yeah, looking forward to it. So we'll chat in a bit. We can chat like this, but we can chat by our phone as well. Yeah, let's, why don't we just set up a call when we're 20 feet apart? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> So, we've got people joining already. This is good. This is good, good. So, we are in the same room, in different cars, and you, I can hear you, you can hear me. Is that, is that, is, is that are we all good? Oh, I can hear you, mate. Mr. Nick Williams has joined us already, total legend. Oh, Mr. Nick, NWDT. Damo oh, Drives has joined us as well. Oh, this is Tracy's good. Tracy's Garden, hello. This reminds me of, of lockdown and being in a car on my own, but now we're doing it, we've supersized it. We've basically gone, we're going to press the XL button on everything and have all the cameras in and make it even special -er than before. Basically, I am in the Continuous Car Mobile Studio, which is the Chevrolet Spark off of 2009, previous press car, which I converted into a mobile studio. So I've got all the pens, all of the things in front of me, to be able to draw this very orange Kia Stinger GT that you have driven up this morning. So what we're going to have a go at is continuous car drawing. I'm going to draw the Kia Stinger that has come up from Kia UK and you've popped up via Coventry before going off elsewhere to the Cotswolds to go and have a nice little drive in it. And then also we're going to chat about what you've done in the last three years since, since you know, kind of lockdown and all that kind of stuff. You've been busy, I've been busy. So we're going to have a little catch up about what exactly you've been up to. Before anything, in case anybody doesn't know, I think you need to do yourself a little introduction about what is and who is Petrol Pet. Uh, I am a, a hobbyist YouTuber where things have just gone very well and I'm now living the dream, I think. <laughs> um, I've been doing YouTube seven years. Started off, I, I think like a lot of YouTubers followed or, or saw guys on YouTube doing cool things in cars, went and bought myself a video camera, pointed the camera at myself for the first time about seven years ago and just started uploading videos. Now, I still do a bit of my old job, but, but it, uh, most of my time is now concentrated on making YouTube videos and getting access to cars and meeting lovely people like you and trying to be as creative as possible, really. Well, you're very sweet. You didn't, I didn't pay you anything to say that as well. You, <laughs> you said I was lovely without me having to say anything. That, oh, mate, that's very... I mean, honest, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just big you up. I, I really admire what you do. Your work ethic's unbelievable. Every every weekend I'm on, on Instagram and see you're at some event painting some cool thing. You know, whether it's your continuous line drawing or your drawing, I still don't understand how you can paint stuff with radio control cars, but I've seen your studio. Uh, this morning, which is um, very impressive, and uh... <laughs> you, you, walk, you walked into my studio and said, "You said this is exactly what I thought it would be," and I yeah. just look at it and go, "Well, it's a massive mess." But yeah, but, yeah, but I'm, I'm glad it didn't, it, didn't dis it didn't disappoint. <laughs> That's I the know. main thing. So no, it's it's cool, and you know, it's it's been. I've still got my my two line drawings you did and my two minis, and obviously one of them now no longer with us. So that's quite a poignant drawing for me now so when we talked about doing this I, I said look I've got I've got the Kia Stinger and and I think th this is quite a sad week for me I don't know how many of the people watching have, have had anything to do with the Stinger been in one or driven one I think this is one of the most underrated cars certainly saloon cars of the last 10 years they're amazing things and they didn't sell in great numbers I think main, mainly because people couldn't look beyond the badge really because it, yeah it is it is an impressive car so Rear wheel drive, it's got a, yep. it's got a V6 engine, pokey, you know, pokey torque, and it, and it looks ace, like it just looks proper, in that colour as well, it looks phenomenal. 
And as far as I know, I think Steve, Steve, who used to be Kia MD, he really pushed to get this car in the UK. It was a real kind of a push by Kia UK to get to get this car on you know on the roads. Yeah, I mean it, it was. Oh, I think it's Albert Beerman, the guy who designed this car was head of BMW M and you know it's uh, the underpinnings of this car it's such a well sorted car it's got a, a really powerful and torquey V6 all through the rear wheels uh, it's a semi auto gearbox but it's it's a really nice quick change and it and it's just a nice place to be as i said it's it's being end of life this year so it is on automotive death row <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, um, as, as, it, yeah. as, as some of these you know, kind of naturally aspirated things are, you know, unfortunately, they're just with their you know, emissions or or whatever, just popularity, or it just can't they can't import them you know, as, as they used to. So yeah, they unfortunately they've got to go. This year, we say goodbye to some really iconic cars. So Kia Stinger's going. Uh, Ford Fiesta is killed this year. That goes. Um, Audi R8 and Audi TT, they both go this year. There's, there's some really, uh, it's quite a sad year actually. I've tried not to think about it too much. The, the, the Stinger is being replaced by Kia um, with the EV6 GT as their headline GT car, which is clearly an all electric car. Um, I've driven one, they're phenomenal, phenomenal things. 600 odd horsepower and, and you know, no, not quite, nearly 600 horsepower. But yeah, amazing car, but it is it is quite sad. So to, to give it a good send off, to get you to draw it, and then, well, I'm going to the Cotswolds this evening, and then tomorrow I'm gonna to go and find the Black Mountain Road in the Brecon Beacons and get it even yeah. more dirty. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I quite like the, I, I am gonna draw the dirt in, because I quite like the, <laughs> the dirt. Right, so whilst we have that little intro chat, there is. You're kidding you me, is that done already? Wow. That's the initial outline. There we are, there's the initial outline. Yeah, and you can even now look through the window and see it for yourself. There you are. Oh, that's really good, mate. <laughs> I'll, take hey, mate. Me, I'll take me reading glasses off it. <laughs> it is quite novel, this whole kind of like, previously it was always uh, via, via so a phone. Said, that. said they should have put a 4x4 system on the Stinger. Uh, yes, I, I kind of agree. It is, it's quite a playful car, this. I mean, it's quite cold in the UK at the moment. It's on, this is on Pilot Sport 4 S's, so um, it, they're good tyres, but it's quite tail happy. It's such a torquey motor. You do have to be on your A game. In sport mode, it, you've still got the traction control on, but it, it, you can still kind of have a little bit of a, a, a slippy moment at the back. So yeah, four wheel drive, well, it's a bit like the Alfa Giulia Quadrifoglio, actually. I think if that had been four wheel drive, that would have been even more epic car, but they are good fun. So that's three years, obviously. I mean, you, what I really liked about what you did with the channel, you, you kind of, you're a mixture of like the car stuff, but then you actually did like walks with your dog and kind of, you kind of kept it real and just kind of chatted to people, which yeah. which during that time people really appreciated because they weren't having the conversation with their friends, but you went and, you know, whilst you're walking the dog, chat to people about how you're feeling and, and you're pretty honest. So that's, I think it's a really key thing in the industry to, to be like, so, how did you find that? You know, kind of looking back in retrospect, what was for you, how did that time change how you produced your content? I mean, the, the, the daily vlog I did through, through uh, lockdown, the COVID-19 daily vlog, which I'm still very proud of that title, by the way. I, you know, if you're gonna create a video every day and you're a car guy and you can't drive a car and you can't leave your house, it's quite a challenge, really. So yeah, I, I took the dogs for a walk one day and did a video, like a vlog style video, just talking about stuff and you know I'm, I'm and they went down really well and now I regularly get asked when are you going to do another dog walk video so I think when we first chatted because I think it was during I it was the, the minis I, I from yeah. mini, it was with mini UK because you had two minis so yes so then there's now only one mini so so for people who don't know what, what there was a bit of a story behind the car and why it then became a, a Porsche so yeah, I have two minis, a roadster um, called Ruby and a clubman called Charlie. And unfortunately, at uh, the beginning of last year, uh, my wife was driving the clubman home from work and hit a log in the road. It, it, she was unsighted and an SUV in front, went over the log and because of the ground clearance cleared it and she went into it at not that much speed, maybe 15 miles an hour. And it lodged under the front of the car. So she went round the roundabout and then pulled off to the side of the road, but there was a small curb and, and the log went then up into the engine and basically shattered the sump. All the oil came out of the engine and then the log then carried on down under the car and smashed up all the underside of the car and wrote the car off, which is 
quite annoying, really. So sadly, Charlie Clubman is no more. I mean, yeah, so, so, so and then obviously you were like, right, well, I want to kind of get you, you say, you dream car, so you've gone, gone for football, but you still, obviously with this kid, you get to drive the, the press car. So, and recently, literally last week, or a couple of weeks ago, you were out in Dakar with, 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 with Audi. So, yep. I mean, what, so some of the trips you've done over like, you know, kind of more recently, because you're know, opening up and things are much more happening now than yeah. ever before. So what's been some of the kind of the highlights more recently? I mean, Dakar, oh yeah, it's amazing to go out to Dakar and see, see, see the trucks in the desert and oh. doing, doing, doing that. It was, I mean, Dakar was was a real bucket list for me anyway, and, and we we went with Audi UK and we got access to the bivouac and the team and we were shown around the car and it was a really great group of people. I was there with my good buddy Joe Achilles and Paul from Love Cars uh, and Harry Metcalf and, and it was an amazing trip. But yeah, I think the, the when lockdown started to lift and the press trips came back, for us as content creators that um, that opens up a whole world of, of, you know, it's one of the reasons a lot of a lot of us do it is you get these experiences as, as well as getting to drive cool cars. So, you know, I was very lucky last year. I had a, um, a couple of trips to Italy with Alfa Romeo um, with the new Tonale. Um, I think last year's one of the better trips. I went to Sicily with Maserati to drive the MC20 Cello, the Spider. Well, that was an amazing, Lovely. amazing trip. So yeah, those types of experiences, I think for me, when something becomes your job that was your hobby, and, and I guess it must be a bit the same for you, is you need to work really hard to make sure that it's still a hobby, even though it's how you earn your money, if that makes sense. I think, I think yeah, you've got, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to have that yeah. element that you know, when, yeah. you, when you do something kind of to start off with, you have a, oh, well, where's this going to go? But that's the excitement of it, where it could possibly lead to. Yeah. And you know, when, I, when I first started, I was, I was a teacher. And, but I always was like, well, as a teacher, I, I, want, to, uh, I want to be a full-time artist. That was my aim. And, but to do that, you then got to make sure you're earning enough and you've got to be in the right position. You can't just jump ship and go, right, I'm a full-time artist now, if you know that you actually haven't got the finances in place or, or the the kind of the, the, the work to help pay for, you know, mortgages <laughs> and, yeah. and, and things yeah. like that. So, but yeah, I, I think the thing is, I, I still, you know, enjoy it. I enjoy the element of the industry, I enjoy the event, particularly enjoy the event side where I'm, I'm going out seeing people, you know, whether it's Bista Heritage down at Thrux, you know, Thruxton or Goodwood. And, you know, we've, we've bumped, into, bumped into each other multiple times down at both Thruxton and Goodwood. I, um, I always come and find you, mate. If I'm at an event, I'm like, he's got to be around here somewhere and I'll come and find you. So in terms of, you know, going forward, you, have you got, you know, I know there's some things in the fire that we talked about earlier. And, you know, so what, is there anything that you can talk about at the moment that you go, oh, yes, that's, uh, that's in, in, you know, maybe we've got some launches, we've got some cutters on and some vehicles that you're looking forward to driving this year in particular that you know you're definitely on, definitely going to do? I think one of the cars I'm looking forward to driving the most I've got is the Lotus Emira. So I'm just in discussions with Lotus about getting one of those. I've got a couple of drive tours on the cards this year, which I'm really excited about. I'd really like to get hold of a, a McLaren Artura sometime this year. And then the, the big one is Festival of Speed, is trying to secure a drive again this year at Festival of Speed. So last year I was super lucky. I drove a NASCAR up the hill at Festival of Speed last year, which was... <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, just a NASCAR. Just a... You just said, oh, I just drove, just drove a NASCAR. So how did that, like, talk, talk me through how um, that happened. Like, um, what was, it, what was the was, conversation? It was the most ridiculous two weeks of my life, I think. I was... I've done some uh, quite a lot of work with uh, Superformance and the UK distributor of Superformance uh, called they're called Le Mans Coupes, and I was with them doing some filming uh, with one of their cars, and and they have a customer who bought a beautiful GT40 Superformance GT40 that is a an exact replica of the 1966 winning Le Mans car. It's it's a, a stunning stunning thing in golf livery. It's a wicked thing. And the guy from uh, Oliver from Le Mans Coupes just said, oh, you know, Paul's, he's just bought a NASCAR uh, and he's running it at a festival of speed. You should have a chat with him. I, I'm sure he'll let you drive it. And I'm like, I said to him, I said to Oliver, don't be so stupid. He's not gonna let me drive a NASCAR up the hill at festival of speed. Anyway, Oliver disappears off, comes back five minutes later. Says, yeah, I've just spoke to Paul. Yeah, he's well up for that. I mean, it is, it is such a cool, I mean, it's one of my favorite. I mean, I never get to see any of it because I'm generally working and creating. 
at it. But I mean, both that and Revival are two of my favorite things to attend, create, be at, because it's just, it is just so much going on, so much. So I drove the NASCAR and I also drove the Alfa Romeo Tonale on its dynamic debut up the hill on the Sunday of Festival of Speed this year. So that was really special. And then I had a couple of passenger laps, uh, passenger rides as well. So you, you, your, your four days suddenly comes very, very busy. What people don't see is, is a, a drive up the hill takes, I don't know, a minute and a half, unless you're in a McMurtry Spurling, of course. Uh, but it's two hours out of your life because oh, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes forever. You, you get to the car, you have to drive the car to the assembly area, you drive it to the start, you drive it to the top, and, and that is like two hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember I was, I was at the event uh, with, a, with an ex-girlfriend, actually, um, and, 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 and Ferrari went, oh, Ian, do you want to jump into California and go up the hill? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, two, two hours later I returned and she was yeah. not happy. <laughs> it takes a long time, a long time. Um, but yeah, that, the McMurtry Spurling, you should try and draw one of those. That, that would be a cool drawing, actually. So I used to have a Kia Soul for a very long time, actually. It was a, it was a former press car. So yeah, so what, in terms of other things about this particular car, what, what are the highlights or things that are the need to know about the, the specs on this car? The bit that would surprise most people is just how fast and how powerful it is. It's the car that started the almost, I'm going to call it the Kia revolution. I think before Stinger came out, Kia was, was a very different brand. And, and Stinger came out and it started to change people's perception of the brand. And now, spring forward, you know, two, three, four years, for me, they make some of the best cars on sale today. Uh, and they've got a nice mix of the clearly hybrids and, and the newer stuff with EV6, their battery electric stuff. But they make some great cars. Uh, you know, the, the Sportage is one of the best selling cars in the UK at the moment. So yeah, it's, it's, it is a shame, a great shame that they just didn't sell in the numbers that Kia wanted. That said, in terms of a used bargain, you can pick these up for not silly money and they're a good car and you could probably pick them up by 25 30 grand on auto trader a few years old and i had an, an mg zs ev from them and, and when i first got it i was a bit like uh, what, how's this going to go down with the channel and, and and people loved it because it was a normal attainable car there's loads of youtube channels all getting supercars and hypercars and people can't afford those but you can afford an mg um, so it was quite interesting um an interesting car to run and very good very very good no oh, yeah I, I have heard good things about it and um not yet not driven on the south yeah but it's, it was always that thing of like where yeah because there's always that kind of all range anxiety and stuff but but i think well, you know, evs now are getting better and better and you know we've got stuff like you know, obviously you always have teslas and whatnot but you also got polestar and a lot of the brands really are developing so much quicker so much quicker than they ever did in terms of what they can produce in terms of back, yeah, battery technology? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we're running, um, my long term at the moment is a Mustang Mach-E. Um, and that, I mean, I've had that nearly four months and I've yet to plug it into public charging because the, the journey profiles we've done have either been within the stated range on a day for a day or I've been staying at friend's house and, and, and plugged in at theirs. So public charging is getting much, much, much better. It's still not there for me unless you're driving a Tesla, but it is getting better and it's getting, you know, the faster chargers are getting more available. But the Dakar, the Audi Dakar car, that, um, what a thing that is. So that is an electric car, so it, but it's got two Formula E motors, one on each axle. And then it's got a German touring car petrol engine running as a generator, charging the battery. So it drives along as an electric car, but it's got this touring car engine running at a constant RPM, charging the battery up. Amazing thing. Um, and, and this is really where, like, where they talk about motorsport and how development in motorsport then benefits road car. And this is exactly you know, stuff like endurance racing in a desert where you haven't got to get to the end, you've got to get to the service to, to you know, for that car. This is where all of the developments happen, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, interesting because we, we had a QA and a with Audi and they, they, they don't see that technology feeding into road cars yet, but it's it certainly, I think, for things like endurance car racing, 
is something that they, they that we might see. And um, the fuel, interestingly, that it, it was so it ran on a synthetic fuel that was a synthetic fuel that didn't um, compete with the human food chain, which I didn't even know was a thing until oh, right, until okay. then. Um, so a lot of biofuels they use crops and stuff, and then you you basically distill combustible fuel out of it. But so it, it is a fully synthetic fuel-powered car, as it were. But I just thought it was a really interesting concept and they didn't win. They only had one car out of three finish, but they had big, lots of bad luck with punctures. They had, a, Carlos Sainz had a massive crash. He's actually fractured two of his vertebrae. Um, he got home and his back was a bit sore, so he went to the doctors and they gave him a, um, an X-ray and he'd fractured two of his vertebrae, which wasn't very good. Oh, oh, so yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that, do you? No, it's, yeah, no. It's, uh, no. But that, it says, if you... says the man cramped into a tiny little car. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't <laughs> actually fit in that car you're sat in right now. Um, <laughs> I, I'll show. Look, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> go. I'm gonna go forward facing again so people can kind of see Ian. Uh, look. <laughs> so there's his Instagram handles and stuff. Make sure you join uh, and you follow him on Pop Bang Colour. Um, but we should be getting close to. We yeah, we are very. To... Yeah, we are very nearly. Yeah, we are very nearly there. So. Yeah, we've pretty much just got all the details in there. So, so if people are, are planning their kind of event safari, obviously Goodwood is very much on your radar. Where else are you planning to to attend? What what what's um, on your on your to do I, list? So the one event I want to get to this year is Le Mans because it's the it's they've got a big anniversary at Le Mans this year and. Um, I the last time I went to Le Mans was the year that the Mazda 787B won. Uh, that, so that dates it. It was about 93, 92, 93. And then event-wise, I'll be at all the Goodwood events. Uh, that's a that's an absolute must. I'm doing some racing this year, which is quite cool. So Ooh. I I don't think they've done. I'm racing in the enduro car, uh, a couple oh, of rounds of the enduro proper, car. Proper, proper. Uh, proper, proper racing, yeah, gra 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 grassroots. With, with a, good, with good. an awesome bunch of guys called Shine Automotive, who I met. I, I, I did a couple of rounds of Enduro Car a couple of years ago uh, with a mate of mine, Alex, from Peak Performance Reviews, and unfortunately his car died a death. Um, but Shine have asked if I want to do some rounds with them this year, so that I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> right, I think I think the grand oh. reveal. We are. We can. <laughs> I take my glasses off. We can. <laughs> this is really weird. Are you gonna? You've got to do the grand reveal to your internet, um, to the, your, your your live to audience, the internet, and then and then you know you can just hold it up for and me then, to look at. I, yeah, I, well, it's too live. It's an actual audience and the actual audience. Um, <laughs> so it's like, it's like people on the internet, and then you <laughs> sat in the car after it. Um, so you can yeah, we'll do we'll do the internet first, and then you. Ta -da! Right, so I think I'm I'm happy. Yeah, we've got that. Here we go. Here we do a drum roll. Ready, right there to the internet. Ta -da, there is a lovely orange Kia Stinger GT. Ta -da. That is and then, wicked. There you are, mate. You can look at it now. There you are. Hey, it's like so it's like cool. a mirror. It's like a mirror. You see. <laughs> well, so, look, if I spin it round, you can see me <laughs> looking at it. There's the car. There's the car. There's you. There's the internet. <laughs> Right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Mr. Petroped, um, for coming up in the Kia. You can now go off to the Cotswolds um, <laughs> and get more dirt on it. Thanks, Internet. We're going to cut you off now. Goodbye, Internet. Bye. Make old man noises and get out of the car. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. That's pretty good. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. A bit orange. He's got some dirt on it as well. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's all right. That is wicked. And there we are. That worked. There you go. Good man. Anytime, mate. Absolutely that was awesome. anytime. So that was fun. Right, get in your car. Get out. <laughs> get get out of my, Get out of Coventry. <laughs> right. So all your social channels. Talk to a camera. Uh, yes. Uh, well, as uh, well as well, following him, but uh, you can find me on anything. Just look for Petrol Ped. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Make sure you subscribe. So and, uh, smash that like button. Smash that like button. What, what else do they say on the internet? Um, um, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, hit the notification bell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bing. Ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> on that note. Yeah. Bye. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.